Professional Development Committee is a district-wide committee. It's a very unique committee, one in which has been mandated by the state of Missouri, where all of the professionals in the district receive professional training in their area of expertise. It's a learning community for the teachers where they can get involved with development to enhance their teaching techniques and their skills. We have an elementary subcommittee, uh, a secondary subcommittee, uh, which looks at basically the three full day professional development days throughout the district and then the six half day professional development uh, days throughout the districts and looks at providing a focus for those professional development days. We also have a committee that is um, the Summer Academy uh, Committee, and that committee is comprised of a group of the PDC com committee members that look at what training needs to take place over the summer. The PDC is, a, is one in which um, there is a representative from each of the 17 elementary schools, as well as the middle schools and the secondary and the high schools. There's two representatives from the high school and the uh, middle schools. And we meet once a month, and the committee designs and devises different type of professional development that the teachers will attend on a professional development day. Now what happens is that a variety of ideals come across. We select the ones that are most pertinent and relevant for each of the buildings so that everyone is getting the same type of training. For instance, this year our focus is on Common Core and our communication arts classes and technology is definitely district-wide. Throughout the entire district we have to get technological change for everyone. So that's what we come together and decide on what needs to be for all of our teachers. To the students they see that the teachers are engaging them and um, and a lot of rigor and relevance in their classrooms. That's what the students see. They actually see some of the same type of style of teaching because we give the development to the teachers where they learn about uh, differentiated instructions, different types of strategies, the horizontal strategies. And so what students actually see is that the teachers in their districts are actually teaching the same way. They begin to see that we all have the same style of teaching because we've all had the same type of training. Well, for the staff, they receive the training in the different types of um, up and coming, different strategies that are available to us. So all of the staff members receive this training and what they see, what the actual staff members see is the implementation of this training in their classrooms. And many of the teachers are doing the same thing. The state does mandate um, that we do have a professional development committee and we have representation throughout the district. And uh, one of the responsibilities of the professional development committee is to make sure that the funds that are allocated for the professional development throughout the district are spent wisely. If someone was interested in about the professional development, and you know what, I, I get the question now because a lot of parents are wondering why is it that the teachers are out a half of a day, and I get that. And the reason why we're out those half of days is so that the teachers can stay up, um, can stay informed of all of the things that are taking place. Professional development is one step beyond what we do. It is a way in which we can all learn how to teach our students. The student is changing, so technology is changing, so our classroom is changing. So we have to receive that development. What, we have to, what the community uh, has to remember is that the teachers have gone to school for four years and gotten their degrees and things like that, and we've learned how to teach. Now the strategies is what we focus in on. Even though we have the knowledge of the, tech, of the information, we all need that, those different strategies because none of our students are the same. So what professional de development does is give the teachers a toolbox of information of how to disseminate their information to their students. But we are able to learn about their learning styles and be able to teach to everybody. I am the chairperson for the district-wide professional development. It is a minuscule role realistically because we work together. I think one of the biggest roles uh, in my job description is that I make sure that we actually follow the uh, district professional development mandates. I try to empower the teachers to remind them that as a professional development committee member, we have to make sure that the information 
that we do that on these professional development days that are set aside for the teachers is that is what it is the needs of the teachers. I make sure that we uh, assess the needs of the teachers and that we respond to those needs of the teachers. So we send out a survey twice a year to find out specifically what it is that they, that they know that they need development on. And then I make sure, I try to make sure that we respond to those needs. So if the teachers say that we need to have more information about a specific strategy, we do the research on it and then we try and bring it to them.